A wall and ball provides for many of the various situations players encounter during games and provide the opportunity to develop the skills of striking, catching and control to the highest level. Kian Shin, blocker to Shees, Joel Canning, Alvastar Cool Fighter, and Canning behind it. It's easy to practice hurling. You should have your own hurley and ball and always keep them near at hand. Join up with a friend or find a suitable wall to practice your skills. Wall ball activities can be played by individual players or in pairs, or where space allows, a full group can complete a full session. Developing ability on the left and right sides is a key focus of these activities. They need hands, so get them at the wall. Get them at the wall. Do the simple things first. That's it. Now, Mary, you're ready to get in behind her. Here. Now, if you're on every second one. Right. Okay. You go first and do your 10. Right. Now, you do your 10. You go every second one then. Now, every second ball. Go on. In out. Oh, sorry. Grand. In out. Cross her body. Cross her body. Cross, oh, cross her body, Fiona. Okay. Cross her body, right. Go on. Cross her body. Now. So, you get a left. I'm going to start hitting the lace of my shoe now. Now, I'm going to start making you get an alert, okay? Oh, See? So, I'm going to make you the trainer. I'm going to make you. I'll be your coach, you remind me. The key here, uh, Mary, when you throw a few balls there, right. I want to show everybody how to get kids not to cross hands, but to cross their own hands. And I'm trying to teach here, I'm trying to teach here that this is the hurling hand, and this is the handling hand, and you don't do the switches. Yeah. Under no circumstances is that to be tolerated. Let the hand come across, the hand come across, take it, and have the hurling and the hand weaving together. Yes. Okay, get rid of the Not your lace now. Drop her down. That's it. Now shove her around. Now shove her around. She's very good. Start shifting her around. Go get her, Marie. Hand chase. You come in there behind me, Mary. We can do this one now again. Throw up the hands. And the ball goes up. You're learning, you're learning your game. Good work, sir. Good work. Good work there. Go around the girl. Go around the girl. Go around. One girl throws it. Whoever catches the throws it. And the next player will bat. And we see when they're in the book for three. They didn't throw some for the throw. You see, you're, 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 you're not going in. You're not going in. You're going in. That's it. You have to go in. Throw in. That's the one, Fiona. That's the one that stretches back in our back heel, isn't it? That's the centre back ball, isn't it? Go ahead, girl. Now you're in. You're in fantastic now. You see, you're taking her to the centre of the room. You need to turn her to bed. And you see, coaching is all about those rhythms and numbers, game, isn't it? If that worked with three, it couldn't work with two. Four is no advantage. Yeah. Now three will be on stretch. Yeah. But they're getting overhead batting, they're getting footwork, they're getting catching, and they're on a routine. Well, a Here now. the players practice striking off their left and right for short periods. Begin by getting the players to work on their strong side repeatedly. Then challenge them to strike off their weaker side repeatedly. Eventually, alternate between left and right. Note that movement of the feet is a key factor in speeding up the striking motion. When striking off the right, place the left foot forward and vice versa. Very easy to go from there. You've, you've almost nine tenths of your work done. Your body is shaped and then it's that. And it's very easy to do it. And we're looking for that movement. That's the movement we're looking for, the dance movement. A variety of shots can be practiced. Here, the players strike the ball low. Get a bounce to your body. That's the one. Good girl. That's brilliant, Marie. You're bouncing out. That's it. Go on, get up for it. Good girl. 
The ball rebounds off the angle of the wall and the ground, requiring the players to react and jump to catch as it returns. Go on, go on, you're timing brilliant, that's brilliant. Good, you're testing yourself to the limit there, good guard. Competition can be introduced by using targets. For example, how many strikes can you complete in one minute? Movement and timing are essential in this practice. Working in pairs with one ball, each player in turn moves to collect the rebounding ball before striking it for their partner. More dance, class, more dance, man. Moving back, these players strike the ball low to control it as it returns. Note the position of the feet, hands and hurley. Every effort should be made to control the ball with one touch. Coaches should gradually move from stationary to moving drills, increasing the pace as the players develop. Here the players work in groups. In turn, each player solos forward to strike on the run. The next person races forward to collect the rebound and repeat. The player should attempt to collect the ball before the second bounce. Note how the players swivel their hips to strike off either side. The level of skill being demonstrated here is quite high and takes a lot of dedication and practice to achieve. Take the ball, hit a spirit. Don't be afraid to hit a spirit. That's the only way to make it. The other guy will go. Okay, oh, here we go. Get out of the way. Don't turn your back to the field. Working in threes or fours at a shorter distance, the players must react to each rebound in turn, challenging their catching and control skills. You need more power for there, lads. Come on, you've got to stop. Come on, get more power. That's it. Overall, keep your hand down. Very good, Gary. Wall ball activities also provide players with the opportunity to practice adapting their strike. Here the players are striking the ball low and close to the knee. This strike is essential when trying to avoid the tackle of an opponent in a game. Moving to a greater distance again, the high catch is practiced by striking the ball to rebound high. The players must learn to judge the flight and move to the ball quickly. Working in two lines, the ball is struck off the wall at an angle, requiring the receiving player to move laterally to control or catch the rebound. That's a great there. Now we have two catch, one catch start. Go on, take it. We have two. Lovely, well done. The fair, the fair also to your test. 